see up here in, in, in Pocono? Oh, that's awesome. You know, I, I look out my outside my trailer every every uh, feels like every five minutes, and I look out and I see a lot of stage shirts and uh, a lot of family friends, and it's really cool. You know, I get to see uh, you know people that I don't really get to see at a race, such as you know a lot of my family and like I said, my friends and a lot of first time race uh, race attendees this weekend. So um, you know that's always good. It's good for me. It's good for the sport and. Uh, you know, having a lot of fun. It's, it's a home. I get to stay in my home bed, my own comfort revolution bed, so I get good nights sleep. That's for sure. You know, before the race, so I'm having fun. How how um how important was it you for you from Nazareth sports in high school coming into doing racing in IndyCar? Um, I mean, it was it was cool because no one else really did it. You know, so it's something I was doing that no one else was doing, and um. You know, everyone knew of it, of course, so I'd always get a lot of questions, and, you know, I always like talking to people, and I'd always talk to kind of random people, you know, they'd always come up to me and be like, hey, so when's your next race and stuff, and uh, the whole school, I mean, it was pretty much all supportive of what I did, but mostly my friends were all supportive, and, um, you know, it, it just was, it was cool to be able to carry the, the Nazareth name, and I think that's one thing I want to do is, you know, you think Nazareth, you think Andretti, um, you know, I'm trying to build my own legacy and keep Nazareth racing on the map. If you were to use one word to describe what it's like to hop into your car, uh, my to hop into my race car. If you were to go just drive it, it'd be probably adrenaline, adrenaline rush.